Look at the location. This is where we're living. Not really appealing. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another video from Ecuador. Today, we are at the Quilatoa Laguna, which is a crater lake high up in the in the mountains in the Andes of Ecuador. We spent the last night in Latacunga, a small town about a one and a half hour drive from Machachi where we visited Cotopaxi. And this morning we went to uh, Terminal Terrestre, the bus station in Latacunga. Latacunga itself, I would say, is not really a beautiful city. Didn't like it too much. Gonna spend another night tonight. But anyways, uh, we went to the bus station and took the bus to Kilatoa, where we were dropped off just now. It cost us... Uh, what did it cost us? $2.50 US per person for a two-hour bus ride. And the bus leaves at 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning and 8 in the morning in case you want to go here too. I think later as well, but it's definitely recommended to take an early bus so it's not so crowded here. It was a scenic bus ride. Uh, I enjoyed it so much. The two hours just looking out of the windows. I just couldn't get my eyes off the landscape. It's insane, guys. Now we paid entrance. It was two dollars per person and now we are on our way to the lake, to the laguna. There are no signs, we're just walking <laughs> and I can't believe how lucky we are with the weather. Yes. I'm almost scared to uh, say it, say out, it loud. out loud <laughs> because the weather so far in Ecuador has been not good at all because it's rainy season and down in La Tacunga it was super rainy yesterday, also this morning full of clouds. Um, we almost thought about not doing this trip here but now here up in the mountains it is sunny and I'm so happy that we uh, decided to do this trip today. We decided to sleep in Latacunga and do a day trip to Kilotoa Lake because as you can tell by the beanie it's pretty cold up here in the Andes in Kilotoa but honestly speaking I kind of regret it because this town looks really beautiful. It's so cute and small and original. Much more beautiful than Atacunga. I would feel way more comfortable running around here than running around in this city. But, well, it is what it is. I think we made it to the viewpoint of Kilotoa Lake. Let's go check it out. That thing is huge. Huge. Wow. That is crazy. First impression. Beautiful. And huge. I didn't expect it to be this big. to fly the drone so you and we can get a better view of this beautiful crater lake but the drone went absolute bonkers dude I've never seen it shake so much it was literally going like this I was super scared I thought we we're gonna lose it for sure so we just brought it back down so I'm, I don't think we got close. any footage but uh, yeah better safe than sorry it's also that because really of the close. altitude. Yeah, I got a warning in the app saying that we're too high in altitude for the drone to be super wind resistant. If you want to hike here, there are two options. You can either walk around the whole crater. I think it's going to take four hours. And 
and maybe it's 11 kilometers at least that's what some people just told us <laughs> don't know if it's true um, but it's pretty long uh, or you can walk down to the lake which takes you 45 minutes going down and one and a half hours going up of course depending on your condition in this high altitude so for us I think it would take two hours to go back up so we're not gonna do that because we're scared of um, missing the last bus maybe I don't know how long we're gonna take because Flo already had some altitude sickness symptoms so I don't want to risk anything <laughs> we're just gonna walk a bit around the crater just as long as we have fun doing it um, take some nice pictures and videos and just enjoy the view. You can also take a ride on a llama. Is llama even the English word? I have no clue. But we're not gonna do that. It's not so nice for the animals. If you take the hike down there, you can rent a kayak and kayak on the lake. Which is pretty cool. But we're too lazy to hike down. Maybe you can get a better feel for the size of the lake with these people in frame, super small and then this huge thing, crazy. We're now gonna search for a spot to comfortably sit down and enjoy our breakfast with a view. Now that's a good spot to have lunch. After lunch we are now going to walk a bit more along the crater because it's a really beautiful, beautiful place, scenic hike. We're not going to make it all the way, but a bit further for sure. Here you can get guinea pig, traditional Ecuadorian and Peruvian food. Guys, we are now back in our crib in La Tacunga and we already told you that we don't like this city and the accommodation that much and now we're going to show you why. First off, take a look at the outside. Look at the location. This is where we're living. Not really appealing. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't look inviting. And now the hotel. Starting off with the bathroom. It's not really a bathroom. It's just a cabin built in the room. And unfortunately, the whole room smells like urinal cakes. It's really disgusting. Uh, I don't know, I really don't like it. Um, these are the two beds, right here, one there, one there, which is positive. We have two big beds, so we have enough space to comfortably sleep. But, listen to this. If you're trying to change your position during the night, this is what you hear. So your counterpart will most definitely wake up. And also it's super uncomfortable, at least for me. My back yeah, it's, hurt it's, so much this night. It's already <gasps> very used. Um, and the smell. Colorful. And the smell. Colorful uh, linen that don't smell really fresh. I don't know when they have been cleaned the last time. I don't know guys. Uh, the problem was there were no other accommodations here in Latakunga that looked better. The only difference was they were even more expensive. This one is $16 US per night for the room. The others were like 30, 40, even higher and they pretty much looked the same. So we highly recommend you stay in Kilotoa because it's cold here as well. It might be a bit cold up there but can't be that much. So uh, yeah, this is how we're gonna end the video. Don't stay in Latakunga. Choose to stay in Kilo Tour. You're not gonna regret it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.